Harris Trump among young voters but falls short of Biden's 2020 winning margin. Vice President Kamala Harris holds a 12-point lead over former President Donald Trump among voters younger than 35, a group that's largely dissatisfied with the influence it holds in American politics but remains optimistic about the country's future, according to new CNN polling conducted by SSRS Harris, leads Trump 52 percent to 40 percent among these likely voters younger than 35. That still suggests a tighter race among this group than in 2020, when President Joe Biden ended up with a 21-point margin among the same age group, according to exit polls. But it marks a return to more typical voting patterns after polls earlier in the year showed Biden struggling to rally youth support for a second term. The gender gap seen across voters of all ages is present among this group as well. Where female-likely voters younger than 35 prefer Harris over Trump, 53% to 39%. Male likely voters are closely divided. And among registered voters, young women are 15 points likelier than men to express a positive view of Harris. Polling on young voters' presidential preference has ranged significantly over the past year. While most recent polling suggests a return to form for young voters favoring the Democratic nominee following Harris' rise to the top of the ticket, these surveys offer varying pictures of the scale of Harris' advantage with this group. Not every pollster reports the same range of ages in assessing younger voters' preferences, but even in the last few days, national polling on the state of the race has found a margin among younger voters as tight as Harris plus three in the Quinnipiac University poll of likely voters age 18 to 34, and as broad as Harris plus 32 in the Harvard Institute of Politics poll of likely voters age 18 to 29. The latest CNN poll surveyed a larger sample of younger voters than is typical in most national polls in order to have greater confidence in the results among this critical voting bloc. It suggests a slightly wider margin for Harris among likely voters under 30 to 55 percent Harris to 38 percent Trump with that group than among those age 18 to 34. In a race largely ossified by partisanship, the CNN poll shows young voters may be among the most potentially movable part of the electorate. 19% of likely voters younger than 35 say they're less than fully set on a choice this election, compared with 12% among those 35 and older. There's also more uncertainty about which younger voters will cast a ballot at all. Among young registered voters, only about half say that they're extremely motivated to vote or that they feel it's extremely important that they themselves vote, both numbers that are significantly lower than among older groups. Young Trump supporters are 10 points less likely than young Harris supporters to describe themselves as extremely motivated and 11 points less likely to place extreme importance on their own vote, a finding that mirrors other recent polling on this age group. There's also a gender divide, with young female registered voters 13 points likelier than their male counterparts to say they feel their own vote is extremely important. Young voters came of age as part of a unique political era. Two-thirds of those younger than 35s said they first started paying attention to politics during the Obama presidency or later, with about one-sixth saying their memories only date back to Trump's presidency. Young voters' memory of the Trump presidency are largely sour, 57% call his presidency a failure, higher than any other age group, but their feelings toward Biden's administration are even more negative, with 67% calling it a failure. Still, about 3 in 10 young voters who see the Biden presidency as a failure say they plan to vote for Harris, a larger share than she captures among disaffected voters of all ages. While young white voters are 15 points likelier than older white voters to call Trump's presidency a failure, that dynamic is reversed among young voters of color, who are, if anything, slightly more likely than their older counterparts to say Trump's time in office was generally a success. Trump's favorable rating among young registered voters stands at just 34 percent, while their views of Harris are, on balance, roughly neutral 47 percent rate her favorably and 45 percent unfavorably. About half of young registered voters, 51 percent, say Trump has worsened their view of the GOP more broadly, roughly doubling the 27 percent who say he improved their views of the party. Young Republican voters are more likely than older ones to say that Trump improved their perception of the GOP. 66% of Republican registered voters younger than 35 say so compared with about half among those age 35 or older 51%. Cent.